So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for the trailer for season two of Dar Dixon. I didn't realise the trailer was already out. I mean, I know, I know it got renewed for season two and I know uh, with how season one ended, there was a lot of buzz going around about what could happen in season two. The trailer's already out. That means they have the season done or nearly done already. My God, they don't waste a second in the Walking Dead universe. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you want to see exclusive content, Reactions for shows that don't go up here on YouTube, extended reactions, film reactions, live streams, sent to my Patreon, it's in the description down below. There's a mixture of all the new shows going on over there. There's Buffy, The X-Files, Star Trek, um, Gotham, Supernatural Reactions, and there's like newer ones, like we're doing The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, I'm doing The Fall of the House of Usher, which is... Wow! I'm only two episodes in, so like, don't say nothing in the comments if you know what happens if you've watched all of it, but like... Bly Manor and Hill House were my absolute... Um, they were like my favourite Halloween things that I've seen in recent years. This is a contender. The link to my Twitter and my Instagram anywhere else you can find me is in the description down below. Um, yeah, okay, let's go with the trailer. I can't believe it's out already. Alright, we're going to have to sit here awkwardly for a few seconds because there's an ad. An ad for f what looks like FIFA. Oh my god, know your audience, man. Why are you advertising sports to me? Let's go. She is singing about you. She's looking for you. She's locking people in cars. She has his crossbow. Oh shit. Yes. Okay, so that was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. That was only what thirty seconds of a trailer. Well, it is a teaser trailer, I guess. They want to give us something. They want to give us something, but not everything. I respect it. So one, can we just talk about how incredible she looks? I, she is one of my favorite characters from The Walking Dead. She's probably one of my favorite female characters from any show. Oh God, I'm about to launch into something. Let's go. For, you know, for a 30 second trailer, I sure have a whole lot to say. She's one of my favorite characters that we've had from a show. It's particularly a favorite female character. Her progression from season one to now has just been absolutely incredible. She has been jumping from, from, from show to show. I mean, she did The Walking Dead. She was in the crossover with Fear. She's gonna be in Daryl Dixon. I mean, she's really, She's just, she's like, I'm Carol. Hello, I'm here. Walking Dead show, hi. She looks incredible. I love how the season ended. I loved her locking your man into the boot of the car and then just vroom vrooming off down the road to go find this community that I'm, I guess this is it. This is the community that she finds. She's got her hands on his crossbow. Oh my God, that just reminds me of Terminus. After Terminus, when she gathered up everybody's stuff. She knows, she knows, she knows that a character is only as good as their props. And she's like, don't you worry. I got your bike and I got your bow. All right, so we're getting some new characters teased. This guy pulled in uh, to pick her up off the road at some kind of post-apocalyptic Uber driver or something. See, this is interesting because he's with Isabel, so clearly he's still in France, so he didn't leave. We got that cliffhanger at the end of season one where he was about to leave the beach and then you two was playing all dramatically and goddamn Laurent popped out of the bushes, stood up on the rock and was like, bonjour, I've followed you. I mean, like he could have... I don't know, he could have said to Laurent, oh, like, I'm so sorry, but go fucking home, please. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I, I guess he brought Laurent back because here he is with Isabel. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of thoughts on that and about him staying in France, but I'm going to get into that in my Daryl video. I'm going to do a whole breakdown of all the six episodes. It's going to be a big, meaty video. So I'm not getting into that right now, but my God, do I have thoughts. Uh, this scene makes me want to sweat anxiously. That's just never what you want to see, is it? That is just, look at her. That is the face of regret. That is the face of, look, honestly, I just came here to find Daryl and I'm just feeling so attacked right now. Sitting there what, with what looks like a goddamn potato launcher. But at least she's not alone. It looks like there's someone sitting in the, pas in the passenger seat beside her, which is not the passenger seat, it's the driver's seat. Still in America then, I see, because if she'd made it to France, the steering wheel would be on the other side of the car. Unless she somehow brought the car with her to France. I mean, you know... Listen, with Daryl making his way across the goddamn ocean in that tiny little canoe, I wouldn't be surprised if they told me, yeah, she drove onto a piece of drift driftwood and floated in the car. I'd be like, okay, fine. Grand. Although this scene does not look promising. Uh-oh. Hang on, I just skipped a random part in it. Oh. Okay, it appears the driver is out of action. The doors in The Shining have opened outside the car. Blood all over the windscreen. That's a good sign though, isn't it? That's a sign that somebody came along and killed all the walkers. Oh no, wait, the guy in the passenger seat's beside her because I just skipped a frame and look, look, his little head has moved. His head has moved. Maybe he was just taking a nap. He was having a little bit of a lie down. I woke up to this fuckery. 
Okay, so that was the teaser trailer done right. It gave us just enough and ab- absolutely nothing at all. Because I think they reused some shots from the season one finale. Her driving down the road to look like the end shot of the season one finale. Uh, we see Daryl's with Isabel still in France. Doing God knows what. Prophetic stuff, I guess. There's something about this top, right? That when I wear it, I feel like my hands, they don't look like they belong to me. I don't know what it is. Anyway, the title, listen, the title is something we have to talk about. Who in the love of God came up with the name? This name. Who did it? There is entirely too many words in this title. Was it written by Fall Out Boy in 2006 or what? The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol. How do you even abbreviate that? T-W-D-D-D-T-B-O-C. So would you just abbreviate it like kind of? T-W-D, Daryl Dixon, Tabak. I'm so excited for this. I don't care. I, I, mm, when we were given the initial news that it was going to be Daryl and Carol spinoff, I was so hyped. I was like, they're two characters. Yes, they make sense together. They're fantastic together. Their on-screen chemistry is amazing. Regardless of whether you ship them or not, because my God, that is a sensitive topic and people get so heated. I'm not going into that. Whether you see them platonically or romantically, it doesn't matter. Their on-screen chemistry is amazing. Norman and Melissa can bounce off each other so well. And on top of that, they're two of the original cast members from the bitter beginning. That's not the saying. The saying is the bitter end. They're fantastic together. But then we got the news that Melissa wasn't going to be in season one. Yeah, there was uproar. And like rightfully so, because it was supposed to be the Daryl and Carol show. And then it was just the Daryl show. And I was like, okay, I guess we're going with this. Now they're changing it again. And it's the Daryl show, but the book of Carol. I'm like, we need to come up with a better working title. Can we just call it the Daryl and Carol show for season two? Because at least that's easier to say. What did you guys think of that trailer? I mean, to be fair, there's not a whole lot to dissect. We come across this new community. She has his crossbow. Gets picked up. Goes on the Uber drive of hell. Ends up in a herd. But at least the driver is still alive. I made this point. Look, I'm just going to make this point and, and, and then I'm going to stop. Because this is getting dangerously into starting to talk about season one as a recap. And I don't want to do that. That's a different video. Right. Oh shit, I forgot my point. Oh, no, it's back. Him choosing to not leave France there was people in my comments it was it was surprisingly split so my thing right was I don't think he'd stay I don't think he'd stay in France he's been super open since the very beginning I want to go home I like I'll be nice I'll make friends but I'm going home at the end of this um Isabel kind of blackmailing him or trying to blackmail him to stay in was really weird him even entertaining the idea when he was standing on the beach looking back at Laurentic I get it he has a responsibility somewhat to Laurent. He's a kid that he's been with on this journey. He doesn't want to leave him here alone because Laurent's going to die. He's going to be eaten by the beach walkers. Side note, we should have got some sick sea walkers. How, how come we didn't get walkers with like starfish or jellyfish hanging out of their mouth or seaweed for hair, you know, or like stuck in a fishing net or something? That would have been, that would have been badass. Please hire me to work on season two. But I just, I don't think he'd, I don't think he'd entertain the idea of staying. Uh, and apparently he does stay. I don't know, does he tell the boat to piss off or what? But the people, the people in the comments were split. There was people saying it's a new show, it's not The Walking Dead. And I'm like, you're preaching to the choir here, buddy, oh pal, oh friend. Because I always say that about these spin-off shows. I'm always like, don't treat them like The Walking Dead because they're not. They're spin-offs, they're different. They're all going to have their own vibe, their own spin, their own whatever. I love... I love the spin-offs having a different setting, tone, vibe, color palette, character lineup. I love I love it. But at the same time, you know, completely changing the characters' personality is kind of strange to me. Like I don't think he would have stayed. He would have gone home. Daryl is very much in with our group, our group being the Walking Dead group. If he goes home, there's no season two, so I understand having to keep him here. But the way that they kept him here, the way the writers chose to kept him keep him here was just kind of weird. You know, you could have come up with like a, oh, the boat never showed. Or the boat showed up and it had a flat tyre. It couldn't return. Boats don't have tyres. It had a broken propeller. So that's the point that I was making in my reaction. That it was an odd choice that he would choose to stay willingly. Because I don't think he would have. Uh, but apparently he did because he had to bring Laurent back. And I'm like, alright, well I guess that's somewhat of a roundabout way of keeping him here. I still would have been like, so sorry, Laurent, but uh, bye. Unless you can swim really fast and keep up with me. Bye bye. I'm off to the boat. But yeah, what did you guys think of that trailer? What did you think of season one? I mean, I don't really want to get into talking about season one because like I said, I'm putting up a, 
like a review video where I'm going to go really deep into everything basically from season one. So I don't really want to get into that in this video. But what did you think of the trailer? What are you hoping to see for season two? What do you think of the title? <laughs> yeah, that's it for this reaction, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon.